guys, it's your girl Shashari back on the camera with another video. Today is December the 19th. Wait, hold on, I think. Yes, it's the 19th and it's about 2.39 in the afternoon. So I was like, let me just make a video. I'm not really doing too much today. I'm pretty much just chilling. Well, I don't think I'm doing anything at all today, but... Right now, I just took a shower, did my little military bun or whatever. It's not the best because I'm telling you guys, look at the part. The part go out of here. Yeet. Guys, I don't know if you have watched the last video, but if you haven't watched the last video, go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and watch my last video real quick. All right? So, I'll be waiting. As you see in the last video and one of the clips, I told you guys I was going to Sephora because... I want to do my eyebrows, and I know I said this in like another video, I was going to buy the stuff to do my eyebrows, but it was just like, I thought I bought like at least two items that I mainly needed, but I guess I really didn't have everything I needed at the time, if that makes sense. I also sense. said in the last video, I'm not saying that I completely just want to wear makeup, that's not the case, but I do want to get into it with the eyebrow look, like I want to get that bold look, that nice look. Right now they're a bit like fuzzy bush style, you know, I took a shower, I was washing my face and everything, so it's like they're kind of all over the place. Now we're about to head to the bathroom and we're going to pretty much start with my eyebrows because that's all i'm going to be doing so that you guys can kind of see what kind of look that i'm going for and i'm gonna do my best so don't be trying to judge me on my first try okay like i'm a child we're gonna see how this go y'all y'all can somebody please let me know why i got all these lights on in the house like i have all the lights on i don't know why so oops, you got hey, so if you go back into like two videos down the line um i don't know if y'all remember but i went to mac and i was telling y'all that i bought the nc48 concealer and that i bought the eyebrow styler so these were the only two items that i had bought so i thought maybe okay like this is enough this is all i need now the items that i do have are cool but mind you I didn't buy no makeup brushes. I didn't buy anything to blend it in with because the guy was like, this is all you need. So I'm just like, do I just paint the concealer around and then blend it with the brush? Then I was like, wait, the concealer is getting everywhere. This is not right. So with that being said, I ended up going to Sephora to try to figure out, can somebody else help me? Can somebody else let me know what products do I need to fix the fuzziness and all of this of my eyebrows. That's all I wanted was somebody to like, literally walk me through everything and let me know. So shout out to Ashley at Sephora. She actually was able to, you know, put the product on me a little, find out what my color was and everything, and pretty much get me set and straight so I didn't have to keep trying this product, trying that product. Like she actually was able to tell me more about the color tones. Do you want it lighter? Do you want it darker? Are you going for a fuller look? Fuller, fuller look? What are you pretty much going for? Guys, when I went in there, I didn't even know what product I was going for. Luckily, it was a lady at the front and she was like, what brings you in here? What are you looking for? I said, girl, I'm just trying to do my eyebrows. I want my eyebrows out there. So she was like, out there? Out like, how do you want them? And I was like, out there, but a natural look at the same time. So she was like, cool. We can do that for intercom. And she was like, we have a young lady that's here and she wants to get into the eyebrows. Can somebody please help her on a look? So then she put me on to some Anastasia. I think I'm saying her name right, Anastasia. That's the brand name? That's the brand name. I know it's the brand name. That's so what I bought from them at Sephora was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. And this is the one that I'm gonna be trying on the camera. And then I also bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. So basically, say if you go ahead and brush them out and you shape it how you want it, but you don't want to add no like actual makeup on it, you can use the Clear Brow Gel. It'll leave it, stay how you want it the whole time. So I'm actually going to show you guys uh, a before with each product, I mean an after with each product, because as you can see, before with these ugly eyebrows so you're about to see <laughs> after with the product all right so let's get it so as you can see all i did was just shape the brow out the 
that's all I did. I shaped the brow out. And I'm about to fill in over here, fill in right there, and kind of fill in right there so I can give it like an archy arch look. So you can tell the difference between that brow and this brow. And the only thing I did so far with this brow is just brush it out. Alright, so let me know if you can tell the difference between this one and this one. You should be able to tell the difference because I have already brushed it out and I have already darkened in spots, everything that needs to be darked in on this brow. So, like I said, you should see the before and the after effect with it. So, the color that she told me to use for my brows is ebony. It's like a brown, dark brown color. So we're about to give it a try and see how this works. This is my first time trying the product. This is my first time trying to color on me because I'm not sure how it's gonna look because you know, due to COVID, they're not actually physically can just go to your eyebrows and start doing everything, but they do try it on your, you know, skin just to see how it is. But due to it being really cold outside, Every time winter comes around, it's like my skin tends to get really lighter than what it is compared to summer and spring and fall and whatever. So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, as you can see, I added the concealer on there. Now, if I have some tweezers and some scissors to use for my eyebrows, it will be a lot easier and if I had an eyebrow brush I didn't show you me blending it in because I had to do it a getaway because I just told you guys I don't have no brush once again please don't call me ghetto down in the comments but had these a q-tip and I just tried to blend it in even though I know it look much better way better if I had a brush so I can pull out that concealer somewhere, but I feel like I shaped them really nice. And then as you can see, if I had some scissors to just cut these and or some tweezers to just pull the little hairs are sticking. But overall, how y'all think I did on this eyebrow on a scale of one to 10? Why, let me know, don't be ashamed. One to 10, how did I do on this eyebrow? Why does the lightning keep changing? I don't like that. One to 10, how did I do? And mind you, this one looks like this. And then this one looks full. So as you can see, this is the full look I was talking about when I said I'm trying to go for a full look. This is what I meant by full. So y'all think I just need to, bruh. Sorry y'all, that lightning kept going up and down, up and down, and it was getting on my nerves. But y'all think I need to do like, how y'all think I did? I think I did pretty good for the first time trying it out, especially not having no brush. Like I said, I was over here using a Q-tip. I think I did pretty darn good for the first time. I can't say she put me on for real, for real. So now I'm about to go ahead and do this eyebrow, but instead of using the ebony brow gel, I'm not going to use this and I'm not going to add no concealer. I am just going to use my NAC brush to brush them out, and then I'm gonna add the clear eyebrow gel to it. Okay, so you guys are going to be along with me on this journey as I improve and improve on my brows because trust me, they're not perfect. They're not the best thing in the world, but for me to just start, I just, I don't know, I just feel like I'm just doing the darn thing because baby, these things, are doing justice right now. And I may even put me on some little liner, some lip gloss, some hoops. Go take a picture. I don't know. So I just finished adding a product. So this one is Ebony, and this one is the Clear Eyebrow Gel. So comment down below, which one you think is more, mm, and when I say, mm, what's one you think is a better fit for me? Do you feel like the clear one is just all you need, Shy? 
or you feel like you can go for that bold look all you need to do is just get you a brush like what you thinking let me know because from a distance no <laughs> but now from a distance it looks real the same but i feel like when i start coming closer you could tell can't you y'all let me know in the comments like y'all gotta let me know what's up come on baby like i said all i do need is some tweezers eyebrow brush and some scissors i honestly think that i would do the clear eyebrow gel when i'm just like in a rush got somewhere to be compared to I'm just throw it on. So if I know I have time and I prepare myself for the day, then I would go ahead and use this one because why not? Especially if I'm trying to give myself that, you know, full look. Say if you're on a date night, girls night, whatever the case may be, you're going out and you just want to feel popping, then I honestly feel like I need to do this one. But I feel like if I'm just going out for the day, do my little run around, something simple, I just got on wax or thread it then i feel like i would add the gel so that it can stay in place compared to hairs going this way or going that way so yeah let me know what you think so as you can see i used ebony on this brow and did this brow the same way that i did this brow put some little liner and added some of my favorite lip gloss from victoria's secret on to just make it pop a little sparkly here and there and i put on some mascara i don't have no lash glue or no hair glue so that i can put some lashes on so i pretty much just did it the natural way and y'all just want to say that i have fallen 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 falling in love with this look like the way that i'm starting to just master this is only my first try Y'all cannot say that it doesn't look good because I think it looks the bomb.com. Like I said, let me know what you're thinking. Do I need to just get a lighter tone than Ebony? Or you think Ebony is good? But I'm like, I'm feeling this, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm really hyping myself up right now because you don't understand. I really just did my brows. I've been stressing about trying to do this, trying to do that. And they fall in place, baby. Y'all, my makeup is looking OD good. OD good. And what's funny is I just have on mascara, eyebrows, as y'all watch me do, some liner, some lip gloss, and baby. I'm just feeling myself to the max. And you can't tell me nothing. Y'all, what y'all thinking? Like, don't be watching this video and just like, oh, they look good and don't say nothing. Oh, they don't look good and still don't say nothing. I need your opinion. I want to know what y'all thinking. What y'all thinking? What y'all thinking? All right, y'all. By the way, when I went to Sephora, that was really my first time actually going in there and making a purchase so when i was checking out she was like what's your email your phone number so i'm giving her my email and she was like oh it looks like you already have an account with us so i'm like that's odd because i do not recalling i do not recall shopping in there so after you know i'm in the process of checking out we have a free birthday gift for you and i'm like a free birthday gift i'm still in my head like i've never shopped here yet that I could remember, but I didn't want to say it out loud because I'm like, she said a free gift. So I'm like, baby, baby, what's the free gift? Between some little lip cream, I think. I don't really know what kind of lip thing it was. I don't even think it was cream. I can't even remember. But it was between that and then this that I picked out. So it was between those two. So I took this. Um, inside is some Brazilian bum bum cream. I thought it said bubble gum, but it says bum bum cream. And it's like body cream and it smells OD good. It smells really good. It smells really good, y'all. Brazilian bum bum cream. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. Not right now, but I am going to try it out. 
So that's the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And then this one is Coco Cap. Coco Cap. Coco Cabana. Coco Cabana. I hope I'm saying that right, Sephora. Coco Cabana. And it looks like this one. And this one's in teal. Let me smell this one. Oh, now this smells like, um, I want to say it smells like vanilla. And it smells like coconut at the same time. But it smells good, so I'm going to use this too. And this is for deep hydration. So you can use this on your skin. So it's a cocoa cream. And I'll try it on my skin. Give it a try. Um, as you guys can see, my skin is pretty decent. It's not the best, but it's decent. I can say once I moved into my place, I was getting excited and I began to stock up on vanilla Cokes. Vanilla Cokes then began to take action in my face. When I was at home, I was drinking my Cokes, but it wasn't as bad as it was when I got here. So I had to take a lap off of those and jump back into my water category. And I can say that the water has been having my skin flow back into place. So I have no foundation on. None of you. None of that. None of that. None of that. Just the concealer. I cannot talk. The, con the concealer. As you guys can also see, what am I missing? I am I missing my rubber bands that I'm supposed to have on. I don't have them on. Okay, if anybody from my the Diners is watching this video, I'm about to put them on after this video, for real, for real. But I have been wearing them. Um, It was like a lack. At first, I was lacking at doing what I'm supposed to be doing. But I can say I came back like nothing ever happened. And yeah, you know, still trying to get used to those. Or whatever. So right when I was just about to throw the Sephora bag away because I took everything out of it, I thought I ended up buying a lip gloss from them too, and I almost threw it away. This lip gloss was nine dollars. I haven't tried the lip gloss yet, but when I do try the lip gloss, I will tell you guys about it. Um, I hope it's like actually good. I haven't really watched nothing on. So for our lip glosses, I just have it. Normally the lip gloss that I wear is the mint um, lip gloss from Bath and Body Works. I wear that one. Sometimes when I'm doing like little here and there touches, makeup, whatever, I'll wear this. I'll wear this. Like I have so many Victoria's Secret um, lip glosses or whatever. I swear. I really need like a little makeup tray or something now that I'm getting into this makeup stuff, y'all. Like I have lip gloss I didn't even open up. This was twelve dollars. I open that up. Got some matte lipstick. And then I definitely never um never opened these yet. And they just look so fancy and elegant. Like y'all look at this. Y'all can't tell me. <laughs> That don't look different than a lip gloss you've ever seen. Now, this one looks pretty bit, a little pretty natural, like a lip gloss or whatever. It still looks like a glow in the dark, though. But this one, baby, something about this one is getting me. And I still never tried it. As you can see, the wrapper is still on. I gotta do better. Gotta do better. But I'm gonna give this a try. And if I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a whole bunch of these. I'm telling y'all, I'm about to get on it. Like, y'all gonna see a whole bunch of little makeup videos or whatever from me. <laughs> y'all, I'm happy. Like, I really am happy. Y'all know I'm happy because I did that. I did that. I did that. Before I close out on my video, I just wanna say thanks to everybody who always supported me, who's always watching my videos, giving me those big thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, cutting those notification bells on. It really means a lot. And I just wanna say, Keep sticking around. It's only going to get better. We're on the way to 1K. 1K. And we're going to keep going up from there and there and there. With that being said, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And cut that notification bell on so that you don't miss out on no videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right? Peace out.